Topping our news tonight, the six month anniversary of Hurricane Irma. And while the Sun Coast avoided a direct hit, some families and businesses are still dealing with the damages lingering from that record storm. ABC7's Erica Jackson joins us live in Bradenton tonight near a historical building that unfortunately did suffer some significant damage last year. Erica. The Bradenton Women's Club building was constructed nearly 100 years ago, but some of that original construction was blown away during Hurricane Irma. This building behind me during the storm, the strong winds blew pieces of the roof across this parking lot into some trees over here. And while most of that physical damage has been fixed, the financial strain still lingers. Pretty much we were devastated. We didn't see how we were ever going to recover from that. This was not a pretty sight for Rebecca Bureau after Hurricane Irma. The entire flat roof at the Bradenton Women's Club was found dozens of feet away in nearby brush. Water soaked through the exposed insulation and drop ceiling, leaving a three inch pool on the wood floor for a total cost of over $200,000. We did not think we could ever recover from that because we operate on about $35,000 a year. Sarasota County Emergency Management is also dealing with Hurricane Irma six months later. It's hosted more than 20 meetings since the record storm and says a top priority is better communication. So the primary responsibility of government is public safety of a citizen. Emergency Services Director Rich Collins says the county sheltered a record 23,000 people last September. Next time, he says the department will open all shelters simultaneously and better inform the public after the county gives the all clear. There's power lines down, there's trees down. You can travel, but you need to do so safely. Be cognizant of those hazards. But Hurricane Irma shifted at the last minute, turning east before hitting the Sun Coast. And while some are thankful the damage wasn't greater, Bureau wishes it wasn't there at all. Had it come a little farther north to south, we wouldn't have sustained the damage. If it had come in from the west, we wouldn't have sustained the damage. Women's Club has already raised $180,000 in the six months since Hurricane Irma, but they need to raise another $20,000 for repairs. They hope to get all of that money gathered by the end of this year. Reporting live in Bradenton, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.